everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Should I Buy This? My name is Amara Andrew, and in this show, I try to save you time, money, and frustration by reviewing things. Today, we're gonna dive into these grain free tortilla chips by Barnana. So, this series is structured into three different parts. First, we're gonna tickle our senses, meaning we're gonna take in the overall sensory experience of these chips. Then, we're gonna look at price. Um, so, we're gonna look at comparable grain free tortilla chips and also just traditional corn or flour tortilla chips. And then finally, we're gonna answer the question that you're dying to know. Should I buy this? Before we get started, I just want to say that I have no affiliation to Barnana at all. Um, this is not a promotional piece or anything like that. I just genuinely want to review these tortilla chips. When I talk about price, I'm specifically talking about the price that I paid for them. Um, the price might vary for you depending on where you live or where you order them from or whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, we're going to start with tickling my senses. So first, we're going to tickle our senses with the bag. So it um, has a great look and feel to it. I love the green. It has a very organic kind of look to it. Um, the little barcode has a banana on it, which is super cute. Cute little monkey on it. Just like cute little lime. It looks very nice, very clean. Um, and I love, just love, love, love the styling of it. These are grain free, so they're gluten free, which is awesome. Paleo friendly. Um, I think they might even be vegan. <laughs> okay, so bag looks great. Smells good, doesn't really have a scent to it. <laughs> doesn't have a flavor either. Feels very nice. It's very loud though. Now let's taste the chips. Woo! So they are a little difficult to open, but that's fine. I was able to get them open, so whatever. Ah. Wow, we're off to a great start. Look at this double one. What? They're together forever. Aw. Let's pick a different one to look at though. <laughs> First off, the smell is fantastic. Oh, it smells like a nice light lime, just fresh sort of scent. Oops, just got it on my nose. <laughs> so you can see that it has a really pretty like cinnamon brown kind of color to it. And then it also has darker kind of flecks on it, like a traditional sort of tortilla chip. And then it also has like the coating from the flavoring on it, which is awesome. The flavoring is uh, sea salt, onion, garlic, and parsley. Oh, and lime juice powder. So, not too shabby. Let's see if we can hear what it sounds like. Oh, I just got dust all over my camera. That's okay. Yeah, just sounds like a tortilla chip. It sounds very soothing. It looks absolutely delicious. Like just seeing all the flavor coating on it, it actually, it entices me even more to want to eat it. Now, let's taste it. Mmm. Oh my God, that flavoring is so good. Good crunchability. It's funny because it's made with plantain flour. So I was thinking it was gonna be a lot softer than it is, but because it's like fried in avocado oil, I think. Yeah. So it just has like a, a chip crunch to it. It's, it's actually surprising how crunchy it is. Listen. Like it's still a soft crunch, but that's pretty good. The flavor is impeccable. It has that light garlicky onion flavor, but not like too much. Not like, oh my God, I just ate a piece of onion or something like that. The lime is super refreshing. Not too salty either. So this tastes like a baby of two different chips that I've had before. It tastes like Doritos Cool Ranch a little bit. And it also tastes like, uh, oh, what the hell are they called? They're like El Sabroso, I think? Something like that, but they have like a guacamole chip and a salsarita chip, and it tastes like a baby of like all three of those mixed together. It's really good. Oh, I keep picking up the little couple chip. They're so cute. They're together forever. Until I eat you. But not now. So for tickling my senses, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. The packaging, like I said, is super cute. It makes me want to eat them. The bag's a little loud and a little difficult to open, so I might have to knock off like half a point maybe, um, but the chip itself tastes amazing and it just looks very appealing and just a sexy little chip. Never said that about a chip before, now I have. Crunchability is good, flavors top notch. I'm gonna give it like a 9.8 out of 10, just because the bag was a little difficult to open, but that's just me being picky. So now let's talk about price. Price check, I'll me. Ugh. First, what we're gonna look at are the grain-free tortilla chips, specifically flavored ones. So here we can see the banana ones that we purchased. Um, we got a pack of six for $27. So that comes out to about, I think 450 a bag. They're four ounces each. A little pricey cost 
uh, ratio-ish. <laughs> These are the Siete chips that I mentioned earlier. These are $4 for four ounces, so it's the si same exact size bag, um, but these are jalapeno lime, really good by the way, just FYI. Um, so these are $4 a bag. So these are actually 50 cents cheaper. However, these are made with cassava flour and these are made with plantain. I think the banana chips are the only chips made from plantain flour, which is really, really cool. Siete chips, $4 for four ounces, so about a dollar an ounce. Um, here are some other grain-free ones. These are from Thrive Market. Uh, these are made of, I think, cassava, coconut, and chia seed flowers. These are actually $5 for five ounces. So again, $1 per ounce. And then we have these late July ones also from Thrive Market. Um, these are $3.50 a bag and the bag is five and a half ounces. So you get more bang for your buck with the late July ones, but they don't have the same uh, flavor profile that these banana chips do. Oh, and these are made with tiger nut flour. Overall, it looks like the banana chips might be the priciest of these chips. Also, I was trying to remember why I like the plantain flour. Now I remember. It doesn't make you feel as full and heavy as cassava flour does. I love cassava flour. I love siete stuff, but I do feel very full and heavy and just like dense in my stomach after I eat cassava flour stuff, but plantain flour, Super awesome, I don't feel heavy. I actually feel like I could go like run around outside if I would ever run. Um, so I don't feel as like black. Okay, so those are just some grain-free options. So now let's just look at like traditional kind of flavored tortilla chips. I mentioned earlier uh, Doritos Cool Ranch. Those were my jam whenever somebody would have that like giant snack pack of like Frito-Lay products, I think. I would always go for the Doritos Cool Ranch. That was like my favorite fucking flavor. So these are similar-ish. Don't like go in thinking Cool Ranch though because you might be a little disappointed, but very, very similar. So they curb my enthusiasm. These Doritos Cool Ranch are, it looks like 470 by me uh, for, a nine and three quarter ounce bag. What a weirdly specific measurement. <laughs> why not nine, why not 10? No, nine and three quarter ounces. That is all. So in these Dorito chips though, there's corn, vegetable oil, corn starch, a lot of different milk, cheese sort of products, um, a lot of very gross artificial colors. Not super awesome. I don't mean to rag on Doritos. I loved them forever. Not the most healthy sort of chip that you could have. You definitely get more bang for your buck though, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's like five bucks for 10 ounces practically. Other one that I mentioned earlier was these by El Sabroso. This is guaca chip. Um, they also make one, it's like a salsa flavor. Oh my God, I would fuck up a bag of these. These were like when I was an undergrad and if I didn't have a lot of money or something to buy food, I would just eat these. These make me think of those. These also do have corn in them and vegetable oil. They also have some milk products, a lot of different colors, just like the Doritos. So not the healthiest uh, choice of chip chippage, but if you're looking for a replacement for those, I highly recommend these. So price, I would give these, they are a little expensive. I would say maybe a, maybe a six out of 10 or a seven out of 10. Like hopefully these can get a little bit less expensive once more people buy them and then they can like make more of them at a time. Let's just say seven out of 10. So now, should I buy this? Okay, so now let's just review everything that we've just talked about. So first with tickling my senses, we learned that the um, packaging is super cute. I really like it. The bag's a little loud. So if you're trying to sneak chips in the middle of the night, probably not your best bet, um, but the chip itself is awesome. Like it looks, like such a regular traditional sort of tortilla chip. It has a really pretty cinnamon color. It has those like brownish flecks to it, which look really delicious. It also has the flavor seasoning on it. I think I gave it like a 9.8 out of 10. I stand by it just because the bag was a little difficult to open. I've had to cut open other bags, so just FYI. And then we talked about pricing, so like I said, obviously traditional chips, just because the companies are more uh, stable and ingredients are a little bit cheaper, those chips themselves are gonna be a little bit more affordable. If you're looking for a grain-free alternative though, I highly recommend these. Plantain flour, I am learning very quickly, is 
uh, nice and easy to digest. They're cooked in avocado oil, which is really awesome instead of just mystery vegetable flavors, cottonseed oil, soy oil. Uh, I said vegetable flavors, I meant vegetable oils. <laughs> Overall, great experience. I don't have any sort of negative health repercussions or anything. That said, these are probably my new favorite tortilla chip. So price, I gave it about like a seven out of 10 just because this is expensive and I only ate a few of these so far, but you really don't get that much in this bag. I should have showed you that earlier, but it's like, it was seriously filled up to like here, which I know that that's just like standard practice so that they don't break. So you fill like the bag with air, but I don't know. That's kind of expensive for chips, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does make me want to buy less of them and eat less of them, so I guess that's a good thing. Price seven out of 10, because I would like for them to be like maybe 350 a bag, because that seems a little bit better to me, but I don't know. I'm still gonna buy them, so what am I gonna do? Overall, should I buy this? Yes. I think you should buy this. If you need to have grain-free stuff, these are awesome. They won't make you feel weighed down. They won't make you feel heavy. It is a little unfortunate the price per amount, but apparently there's supposed to be four servings in this bag, which I have definitely killed one of these bags in one sitting before, so uh-oh. If you wanna buy some of these, I have a link in the description below. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so just FYI. Um, it is a way to help support this channel though, so I'd appreciate it if you'd click down below and buy some chippies. No pressure though. If you don't feel like it, okie dokie, that's fine with me. Just so long as now you know about these chips. Yeah, so I'm out of things to say about these chips other than I like them and I wanna go eat more of them. So I'm gonna go so I can eat more of these. Uh, ooh, I need to try these with salsa. Got some thick and chunky, like my personality. Take this, get some salsa without spilling all over my pants. Mmm. I mean, that's fucking delicious. These also come in regular sea salt. Those will be really good with salsa. If you get the lime ones though, it's kind of a waste to put salsa on it because you can't even taste like the lime flavoring, but that's really fucking good. That'll do it for this episode of Should I Buy This? Make sure you like this video, comment below any other kind of grain-free chips you'd like for me to try. Subscribe to the channel so then you can keep up to date with all the different uh, things that I'm gonna review. You can check out, oh, I reviewed this plant, so you can check out that review too if you're looking for a fake plant for your house. I will see you later. Okay, bye.